Hi. Today we're going to walk through how to use the expansion plugins and how to access the sounds that installed with their discs. First, on the left hand side of the MPC software in the browser area, choose the MPC factory content. This folder contains the sound files that install with the main installation disc. Within the folder, find a WAV file and click and drag it to a pad. You'll notice that the file name inserts onto the pad. Once you drag a couple over, click on the pads. You'll hear the sounds of the files that you inserted. Next, let's look at the sounds installed with your MPC expansion disk. In the browser window, locate these folders. On a Windows 7 PC, the default location is C Program Data Akai MPC slash Content. Within these folders, you notice that some seem to contain nothing. This is not correct, they just don't contain the actual samples. Find the Samples folder and open it. There are WAV files in the Samples folder. But notice that if you click and drag any of these WAV files onto a pad, that the sample name does not insert onto the pad, and no sound plays when you press it. This is because these samples are coded in such a way that they cannot be accessed except when using the corresponding plugin. Now, let's show you how to load a plugin. So scroll to the bottom right of the screen where it's titled Instrument. In the upper drop down menu, choose Plugin. Choose the drop down menu next to the word Plugin and choose Add Plugin. This will bring up a list of all the plugins available. Choose one of the expansion plugins such as the Bank and then press OK. It will take a moment to load, but when it does, you'll notice that the bank is now listed next to the plugin, and there is a sound listed in the drop down menu next to the word program. Click the edit button next to the plugin drop down menu to view the plugin interface. You can now play the keys on the plugin interface or press the pads in the software or on the MPC to trigger it. You can change the sound by choosing the folder option in the upper right corner of the interface or by choosing a different sound in the drop down menu next to the word program in the MPC software. Notice that these are SVX files and not WAV files. These SVX files pick and choose which sounds to access. The sound files, the WAV files themselves, cannot be directly accessed. Let's try adding another plugin. Try the 809. Now you can go back and forth between the plugins.
And that's it for this tutorial. If you need any further technical assistance, contact Akai Support at www.akaipro.com forward slash support or contact by phone at 401-658-4032 Monday to Friday, 8.30 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time.